Today, we are going to be talking about one of my favourite oddballs, the reed fish or rope fish. These amazing creatures come from Western Africa where they inhabit rivers, swamps and ponds. They are members of the Polyptridae family and are very closely related to the birches. And like the birches, they too possess a primitive set of lungs, which means if they need to, they can actually breathe air. Unlike some of their tank-busting cousins, the reed fish remains relatively small in captivity, reaching at around a maximum of 40 centimeters. The two that you can see in this video are around 25 to 30 centimeters. They do best in a pH range of between 6 to 7.5, so slightly soft or acidic to slightly alkaline and a little bit harder. When considering the temperature range, these guys are happy anywhere between 24 to 30 degrees Celsius. When it comes to diet, these guys are not fussy eaters. They accept a variety of foods, from sinking carnivore pellets to even algae wafers. Fresh and frozen foods are best received, including mysis shrimp, brine shrimp, krill, bloodworm, and even the occasional earthworm. As long as it sinks to the bottom, which is where they like to feed, then they will eat it. As you will see from this video, they are not dainty feeders. They are more than happy to compete for food, even when housed with aggressive food competitors such as cichlids and rainbow fish. Despite their slightly menacing look, reed fish have an amazing temperament and spend most of their time ignoring their fellow tank mates. A small disclaimer to this though, in the wild, reed fish will feed on small fish and crustaceans. So as a general rule, do not house them with anything that they could fit in their mouth and swallow. Without a doubt, the most important thing that I can tell you about these fish is that they are amazing escape artists. So please do not even consider housing one unless you have thoroughly secured the lid or hood to your aquarium. My male reed fish that you can see in the center of the screen now has been on my carpet twice in the last year. It is not a pleasant experience. Although reed fish are often seen out and about in the aquarium, they do like to hide. So they do very well in heavily planted aquariums with lots of decor. As you will see in this video, I have actually created two custom made caves for each of my reed fish. They are simply made out of 25 mil PVC pipe with a little bit of slate glued onto the back to weigh them down and create a back. They are 35 centimeters in length so the reed fish can lie in them fully stretched out. Another important consideration is your substrate. As you can see, reed fish spend the majority of their time at the bottom of the aquarium with their bellies to the ground. Coarse, rough substrate will cause issues down the line in the form of abrasions and cuts. Please only use smooth, fine substrate. Well, that concludes my African reed fish care guide video. I very much hope you've enjoyed it. Please be responsible, do your research and your due diligence before purchasing one of these amazing creatures, but ultimately have fun with them. They are widely available in the UK and don't carry a heavy price tag. They normally only cost between 10 and 15 pounds. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video very much hope you enjoy your reed fish if you are going to buy one. Please make sure that everything I've mentioned in here is catered for and you are ready to house these amazing creatures. So with that being said, I am going to stop talking and I am going to leave you with the footage of my two reed fish having a good old meal. 
If you like this video and you'd like to see more content like this, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell, all of that good stuff. I very much hope I see you again soon.